Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these fancy seed beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell and if you all like, share and comment, this would be a great and amazing support for me. Thank you so much guys. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page, I'll be happy to see them and a lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member that comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 OC beads black, white and golden. I'm also using HO beads in golden color. These are earring findings and jump rings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. You could use similar thread of your choice. This is size 11 beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I start my work with eight of these beautiful black beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice or even three times if you want through this loop you've made, then pull gently and this is what you have and then just make one more knot. Okay, like this. Now guys, what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to take one of the larger Ato beads and as I'm exiting here I will count one, two, three, four and I will go through the fourth beat counting from the one that I'm exiting for which is exactly the opposite one. And when I pull this beat fits inside this eight. Don't worry that at this point it doesn't look very tidy, we'll make it look really better. Okay, now I'm going to flip. I take one golden bead and I go back through this black that I'm exiting out of. Okay, now you see what I have, a loop between this black bead and this golden that I'm adding. Then I go in the next black, take a golden, go back through this black but because I want to save time I'm going in the next black as well. Okay, you see I have the same thing. Then I take another golden, go back through this one and through the following. And I'm going to continue this guys absolutely the same way until the end of this row. So it is absolutely one and the same thing that I do. Now as I'm exiting from this black I want to zigzag and go through the golden one and in this way I'm stepping up in my next row. And what I want to do is to flip my work again. Why I'm flipping? Because as I'm right handed I prefer to go in this direction but if it's easier for you you could go in the other direction. Okay. And now I take another golden and go in the following golden, just filling in the gaps. 
and I will continue these guys filling the gaps here until the end of this row Okay, now I have this. Then in my next row, guys, I start another row. I started with one black bead and go back through this golden and through the following. Then I take two black beads and I go back through this golden and through the following. Okay. One black. Go like this, two blacks, go like this. And I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row. First at one black bead, then at two black beads. Just repeat these two steps until the end I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here okay and here I am guys at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row you see this is the step where I add two I finish with this step if you have worked correctly this is what you should have so the inner row is, is with eight beads this is with 16 and here you should have 24 beads Okay, you double every second beat. Okay, now what I do is that I go step in this row that I just added and I want to go around to straighten up the beads because now you see how they, they get curly. Okay, and in order to do this, it's easier for me to flip. As I mentioned, I'm right handed. I will take three golden beads and as I'm exiting from this black I'm skipping the next one and I'm going through the following. So I have this. Okay, then again three, skip one and go through the following. Then three, skip one bead and go through the following okay and I'm going to repeat this guys until the end of this row and I'll meet you when I'm here okay then I want to go through one of the golden beads that are sticking out the most here and I'm taking five black beads you see five of those and I'm going in the following bead that is sticking out. Again, I need five. Go in the next golden that is sticking out. Five again. Next golden. Okay, my friends, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. Okay. Now, what I need to do is to go through two black beads. And then I want to skip this central bead that I have here and go through the following two and through the golden. Maybe you wonder why I do this, why I skip this bead. 
Well, this is because when I skip it and when I pull, I create here a beautiful angle. You see how this sticks out. Looks more tidy. I create a new thread pad in this way. Then I go through one black bead in this direction. Take just one white and go in the previous black and in the golden and pull. Okay. Oops, I went too far. I went through the following golden without realizing it. So I'll go back. Now I'm exiting out of this golden. And what I want to do is go through the next two black beads. I want to skip here the central part and go through the next two blacks and golden. And I'm going to pull, creating a new angle. Then in my next step I want to go through the following black, only through one black. Take a white bead, go backwards like this, through the black and through the golden, and pull. Then I repeat the same thing, go through two black beads in this direction. Skip this black that is sticking out and go through the following two blacks and through the golden. Pull. After that go in the next black bead. one white, go in the previous black and in the golden after that. And I will continue this guys absolutely the same way. You see I'm doing one and the same thing going through two black beads, skipping here the center, going through the next two and through the golden then going in the following black taking one white and going in the previous black and the golden and then repeat 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 until the end and if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video start from here and repeat these steps until you finish this row and meet me here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last white bead from this row and what i want to do next is go in this direction and reach one of the white beads that I have here. I need five white beads and I go in the next white five again next white five And because it is absolutely the same easy thing, I'm sure you will be able to continue this and meet me here. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I just added my last five beads from this row. Now I want to go through the following white bead. This time I take just one black and I go through the previous white and through the one at the angle. Then I go through three white beads in this direction and in this way I'm exiting out of the middle white from the five that I have next and I take a 11 o golden, 8 o golden and 11 o golden and I go backwards through this middle white bead. Ok. 
Okay. Then I go through three white beads in this direction. Go in the next white. Then a black one. And backwards. Then three white beads. Then eleven o eight o eleven o. Go backwards like this and through the following. Okay. Then my goal is to exit out of this angle here, the angle white bead. Okay. I'm aiming for this one. Then I go in the next white. Take one black, go in the previous Y and at the one here at the angle, like I did before. Then through the three white beads, aiming for the middle one of the five beads that I have next. I have two beads before it and two beads after it, so this is the middle one. And 110, backwards through this top one. And the same thing, aiming for the angle. Surpassing the angle with one bead. Taking one black, going through the previous white and through the angle again. Okay, I showed you the first three steps. Now do this until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat this part over and over until you reach here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads here at the top. And this row is ready. Don't worry if everything bends a little bit. We'll fix it later. Okay. Now what I want to do is to reach one of those golden beads that I have here. Okay. Let's say this one. Now guys, I prefer to flip my work like this. Then I take five black beads and I go in the following golden, like this, go in the next white, in the golden, five black, golden. Okay, then the next golden, then five, go like this, and in the golden. Okay, and I'm going to add five beads everywhere, and when I'm up to here, I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. But now I want to do an additional step. I'm going through all of those beads here. And I'm going through the first two black beads that I have on my way. Then I skip the central one and go through the following to the golden and the white. And you know what I do. In this way, I create an angle. I'll show you two more times. Go through the golden and through the following two black beads. Pull. Skip the central one and go through the two black beads, through the golden and if you can, through the white in one movement. Pull. 
then again golden and two black beads skip angle two blacks golden and white pull okay now continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back okay my friends and here i am at my last step creating my last angle now what i want to do is to go through one of those golden beads and again i will flip take two golden beads and go in the black one two goldens go through the eight-o two goldens go through the black that is sticking out two goldens go through the eight-o two goldens go through the middle black two goldens and go through the eight-o and now i'm going to continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last two beads from this row then i go through the following two i take just one eight-o and i go through the next five beads another eight-o go through the next five beads another eight o and go through the following five beads okay i showed you three steps and continue this like before and i'll meet you here okay my friends and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last eight o bead from this row okay now what i want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread so i'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop that i've made here i pull and i go through the next two white beads And then I cut this tail thread okay in my next step my friends I will take this jump ring and open this one and I will put it here inside then my earring finding and i will squeeze back in the same direction as i opened it okay okay guys and now my fancy seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't also please like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough for these actions share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my facebook page and a lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and this with this comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching